Very nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Hwan Young Lee. Uh, uh, I'm from Korea. My company is working on uh, Open uh, VG and OpenGL SC related products. Uh, this time I shortly introduce the OpenGL SC and OpenGL SC product. My company is developing OpenVG software engines and OpenGL SSC and OpenGL ES software engine and we are also developing OpenGL SSC graphics card. And uh, this graphics card already used in uh, airplane made in Korea. Okay. Our OpenGL SSC work is uh, collaborative work with Gyeongbuk National University Professor Martin Beck. He has uh, mobile graphics lab in the National University. Okay, the, I will introduce the OpenGL SSC. OpenGL SSC, is, SSC means that safety critical, means that uh, the, the OpenGL kind of OpenGL profile that targeted for safety critical application like uh, airplane, avionics, and Defense industry, car industry, and maybe in medical industry. So, uh, in especially with this uh, OpenGL SSC uh, API targeted to avionics electronics. So, in avionics in electronics business, there is very uh, high quality high level of quality assurance process. For example, DO178B certification is very high level of uh, software uh, quality assurance process. So it requires at every single source code, we, we should make at least half page of a document. So if we, we have a 10,000 source code line, we should make 5,000 page of document and it, it requires a really huge money to making that document and we should submit really really huge money to to process the, the quality assurance program. So we should reduce the driver side side of driver graphic API and we should eliminate some kind of a risky factor of uh, making a different uh, result in, in safety, safety critical application. This is the main target. It's, a, it's an old version of an airplane cockpit display. Gauge cluster looks look like this. So there are so many the machinery gauge clusters, and we should control it. But nowadays, the airplane uh, cockpit display uh, change into this kind of thing, the, the electronic electronics device, and it it has some various kind of interface. Sometimes, uh, I, I have meeting with some soldiers in Korean army. They ask to me why my device cannot touch to touch interface <laughs> because young soldiers are always familiar with some Galaxy S or some, some device, but they think that why the, the, the some military device does not have a touch interface. It will be very easy. So, um, currently, the Korean army and Korean uh, defense industry slightly changed. Um, so, mostly, the in Korean army, import the, the device from 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 Europe or America. But now they are changing because they they try to use commercial technology. For example. Uh, in in mobile industry or embedded system industry. So actually the currently using in in a, the in graphics card currently using in airplane is I think ten times slower than so why the, the, the question is why don't we use the iPhone graphics chip for defense industry or airplane? It's more, it has much more good performance and sometimes it's much, it is much more safer because about 10 million people testing that device. If there is bug, 
you don't be reported. So, but in case of airplane, we tested with two plane, two airplane. In ten hours in a, every week, that's all testing we had. So, which one is safer and which one is stable? I believe that we believe that the so, so mobile device is much more safe and stable than in than depends on the street device. The problem is that we we should draw the gauge clusters and and some information in cockpit display. But uh, in in this industry, they use several the authoring tool to making a gauge cluster in electronics device. Uh, it's name it. There are several tools, but mainly the astral technologies scale is a mostly widely used tool. So I think there's a market share is more than eight uh, percent. That tool has very special uh, features that. That tool, we, we, it, you should, you should, using that tool is very similar to using Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. And then um, it connected to event or data or some input data, so for example, speed or the fuel gauge or something. And then connected it and then simulated it. And then it, we can test it in PC environment. And then we make code generate. Gen, then it generates OpenGL SSC code. So, so we should have OpenGL SSC driver to operate this tool. Uh, this tool, uh, uh, this is an example of uh, the generated image by Astra the SCADE tool. Okay, I will introduce some features of uh, the OpenGL SSC. We eliminate the the polygon features, quad features, and quad strip features from OpenGL, and then, but uh, we still we trying to still use the GL uh, begin end scheme. I think it is a very old scheme, but in in current OpenGL and OpenGL East does not use this begin end scheme. But sometimes in in defense and industry they hope to uh, to check each line. Of data, so one by one. So begin and the scheme still used in OpenGL SC, and then the local light and the two side lighting and multi sampling supporting is eliminated from OpenGL. Of course, yeah, the, you know that the old airplane pilot doesn't like fog, so fog feature is eliminated, surely. And uh, they should draw some kind of dashed line and some patterns, so some kind of line stipple and polygon stipple uh, features is added. And some texture pi pipeline is, is modified and multiple textures should be supported. And then there should be a uh, list of, list of uh, uh, display should be supported. And something funny that uh, there is some create of a list of a display is in OpenGL SSC, but the destroying the display list of uh, OpenGL SSC is not in OpenGL SSC feature. It means that if we turn on the airplane, then the list of a display will be created. Then until that we turn off that airplane, that list of display should be maintained. I think I think that the purpose of the display list is understandable, but very funny. And the dithering features and and some kind of dithering logic operation is is eliminated. And uh, in pixel format or in color format, there is some limitation of using various kind of pixels. So mainly RGB RGB a 8-bit color is only used in OpenGL uh, so, um, Something strange, but you can understand that. But there is a, the palleted texture. You, you know that palleted color? Is, uh, I mean, I, it looks like you are so young that you did not use the palleted color screen or something. 
the targeted color is very special screen that it one each pixel has eight bit pixels, so there is making some kind of a lookup table, RGBA. Then we specify color, then the the color is changed. It look up the table and change the RGB. Uh, maybe sometimes it is it will be very useful for uh, the high performance changing of a display picture in in airplane or car. Sometimes if if you want to watch. If, if we want to change some in night vision of a display, then we can change the color map, then we can easily afford some night night mode of a display or daylight view. Or we can we can make some uh, more low bright uh, brightness uh, display by changing color map. So, so it, it can be very useful for car and airplane application. You can download this documentation PDF format in Chronos site. You, if you are interested in OpenJSC, you can study with this. Uh, uh, okay, so how to implement OpenJSC? I, I, I believe that there is no dedicated OpenJSC chip in the market because you can imagine that some the market size is very small, so the number of airplanes is very small. So, so we, currently we use OpenGL chip or OpenGL ES chip to implement OpenGL SC. So, uh, to use OpenGL feature, to we can uh, make uh, driver, and then delete on the main need that we should make graphics card, and then uh, most of, most of case it, it use PCI. Compatible interface. Its name is PMC. It's very PCI is the parallelly selected, but it it has problem in in airplane. There's a big vibration. It's going out. So PMC is somewhat very hard uh, attaching the by screw, and then it has some kind of heat generation features. So we use PMC in the main uh, most of case. The CPU is the power PC or was a PowerPC CPU, so we should develop driver on the top of PowerPC and the 99% of the airplane and the defense device uh, operating system is the VX was by Intel. So we, should, we also develop, we also have to develop the, the OpenGL SC driver on the top of VX works operating system. Uh, in in case it, it is a kind of experimental data that in case of implementing on OpenGL ES, so we we found that we tested various kind of OpenGL SSH test and we changed it into native OpenGL ES code. And then and then we compared. So we found that the is less than two percent of overhead exists in implementation on OpenGL ES. It means that. We can the fully utilize OpenGL ES feature or OpenGL feature, even though we draw, we make the new OpenGL SSH driver. Uh, currently, the, so the OpenGL SSH is very useful to developing very limited application like a car application, the medical applications, and the depends on avionics, electronics uh, industry. But the problem is. Nowadays, the, the defense industry also requested that high performance graphics. Actually, this OpenGL SSC graphics API is used for the drawing gauge clusters and drawing some kind of data, the pure gauge or some direction or something. But nowadays, every pilot has the iPhone or Android <coughs> phone or HTC phone. So they know that the, the high performance graphic is possible in everywhere. So they ask to, I want to see that the, the, the 3D Italian model in my cockpit screen. Or I want to see that some 3D interface over the, the aiming control or the shooting control. It is exactly the same as the commercial market in the first 
defense industry market also re request that high performance and high quality and, and very vivid rendering. So we should support that requirement. And then, according to the OpenGL asset, she has very old features to, to implement that old features like a palette color. We should use the shading language. It means that we should verify shading language and shading language drivers. It makes about two ton of document. <laughs> I mean, really, two ton. To move that document, we, we need one big truck to submit that DO. 178 certifications. So it is somewhat ridiculous uh, implementation. So we should uh, we should eliminate something. And then we have planned to. We, so, so of course, we know that the avian experience is very small quantity. But in nowadays, many car companies trying to making their dashboard with electronic device. So we need to support that industry. So the cross group, group considering the, some making new the SSC application based on OpenGL ES 2.0. And uh, we, were, we, we are trying to consider it, uh, how to improve the OpenGL SSC for new industry. OK. Uh, and I will inform you that I wrote a book chapter in in OpenGL Insight book. The chapter name is OpenGL SSC, SSC implementation. So uh, this book will be released in SIGGRAPH in August of this year. So if you are you can you can access more detailed information of OpenGL SSC by this book. Thank you very much. Any question? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you see any marketing chance for this standard? So, to me, like, it's, uh, are you talking about the, you, you, you use OpenGL ES for, I mean, sound like everything's within OpenGL ES, so, so, but uh, you need this. Uh, uh, actually, we already sell this our graphics driver to. Korean the airplane manufacturing company. So it's the, just for Korean market? Mm, there is some kind of regulation between China, so we cannot export to China, I'm sorry, but, but uh, the problem is the market is very small and the, we, we've got very special re request from, from a buyer I should I should keep every part of graphic card for twenty five years. Uh, actually, my my company business was about in the mobile industry. So, mobile industry always say that in Friday they ask to me, yes, yeah, you should make this kind of the software feature until the Monday morning. So we should work, and no one care about in next time, but. In this industry, we should keep our part or source code and document more than 25 years. So it is a totally different business. So we should prepare uh, so many things. So I try to ask to, to my, my graphic card use Texas Instrument or my free chip. I ask the Texas Instrument, hey, your chip will be sustainable in more than 25 years. I don't know, I cannot show <laughs> that, that, that is the answer, so... I'm, it, just, it, curious. I, I, I'm just curious. <laughs> uh, I'm asking because yeah, I remember from Paul's this triangle yeah. picture. It's, uh -huh. sound like a, it's very specialized, uh, something like yeah. on the right side. Right. At right. Home, and, and at the same time, you want to standardize mm -hmm. as, uh, uh, to the left side of the triangle. So it's, uh, I'm just curious. Yeah. Well, thank you, Thank you. Okay, thank you, Juan. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Go, go, go ahead. A little more clarification.
presentation on the um, idea of uh, SC for automotive, and, and in fact, maybe it addresses this point as well. Is it the idea that it would be something that could be more generalized and uh, quite not so stringent as as the uh, SC that's being used for avionics now? The I mean, just to, to, to reflect what Juan was just saying, the, there is a real market need for OpenGLSC because in avionics, the cost of certification is so high that every API call will probably cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars every time you ship it. So it's good to keep it down. In, that's a real market need. And it's not just Korea. It's been used throughout the world. I mean, there are Rockwell and a lot of the avionics companies in the U.S., Use open now, uh, open to see. It's Kronos being responsive to, to, in this case, a very specific and very specialized market, but it is a market. So the question about automotive, it will really come down to when primary driving systems go electronic, what will be the regulatory requirements? If the regulatory requirements are a similarly <coughs> high as avionics, the cost of getting the certifications is so high then yes, SC might be useful. If though, the, as Juan says, the safety numbers, there are so many people using OpenGL ES2 on consumer electronic devices that you know, the automotive industry decides not to, to set such a high bar, then the, the need for SC in the automotive space won't, won't be so high. It really depends on what the regulatory people do. And that, of course, will be different in each country. So.